so here we are on our last day of our recording project and it's been quite a journey. Uh, we started back yeah. in 2019 was when I originally had this idea of recording music by women composers featuring women soloists and I applied for a, a foundation grant in 2019 but did not receive it but uh, in 2020 I applied again with some okay. feedback and uh, received the grant and started planning this project. Uh, we commissioned uh, Holly Harrison to write a wind version of her piece and Weather Pigs Have Wings. That happened uh, last summer was the start of that and then we started planning what other pieces we were going to, uh, to record uh, to feature our faculty members as well. Uh, so we had a lot of input from faculty members, uh, Dr. Simmons and Dr. Young, and also Dr. Renee wrote her own piece, which was amazing. Uh, we were performing the pieces throughout this year and rehearsing throughout this year, uh, and then had three days of pretty intense recording. It takes about an hour to record three minutes of music. So it's, uh, some of our days have been long, but they've all gone really well and uh, just been incredibly, incredibly proud of how the students have been focused and, um, and how they've been playing throughout the whole thing. So it's been very helpful to have my good friend, Dr. Wynn here producing and our recording engineer, Dave, has been absolutely fantastic. So we are looking forward to, to getting through the last day and then uh, to seeing the end product in a couple months. Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Vu Nguyen. I'm the director of bands at University of the Pacific out in Northern California. Uh, so I'm here on this recording project. My role here is the, as the producer. So I am listening to the band during the recording session and providing feedback to them and also pacing them through the recording session so that we can get, you know, a whole bunch of takes of the piece and uh, get the get it to sound as good as possible. So. Um, yeah, having a great time. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sarah Ann Albritton. I'm going to be a grad student starting in here in the fall. And so I'm a Slater, so everything that Dr. Wynn says, I'm writing down so that Dr. Bonner can take those notes as they're compiling the, um, doing all the edits and doing the recording in the summertime. Hi, I'm Emma Nimzik. I'm a music education major here at UNF. I'm in the Accelerated Bachelor's to Master's program here. Um, my role in the project is taking attendance, making sure everyone's being held accountable, and getting the odd jobs done that need to happen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan O'Toole. I'm also a music ed major here. Um, I'm just an extra oboe when they need a third oboe on some of the pieces. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gavin. I'm a music performance major. I'm also an extra saxophone. Uh, I most importantly get the lunch <laughs> and I also listen sometimes. Hi, I'm Caitlin Tobias. I'm a master's of music ed student here and Dr. Bodnar brought me in as like a flute consultant for today. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Dave St. Ange. I'm an audio engineer and producer for up near Buffalo, New York, and I'm in charge of getting all the sounds and making sure everybody can hear everything. And then I'll do all the editing after Dr. Bodner's have had a chance to go through everything and get the master ready for production. I was pull off, and then I wanted to hear like what it sounds oh, like, and okay. then I'm heading out because I got stuff to do. Okay, but, never mind. Yeah, I'll be gone in a little bit. I just wanted to hear what it sounds like. Hey, Dr. Bodner. Oh, there's a pretty decent crash on Butler apparently. Okay. So Ruben is the Prince Butler I know, so he's probably gonna be late. Um, I don't know about the other people who aren't here yet. Okay, they're gonna Thanks. be late. Keep me updated when the guys. Uh, I see your face twitching. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, this concerto was uh, written for this, this recording project um, and uh, this will be the first time that it's performed, I guess, and uh, recorded for sure. And um, it's by uh, Marie Douglas and she did a piece um, that the band played in the fall and they loved the piece so much that they asked her 
um, if she would write a piece for flute and band. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really cool piece. My name's Nicole Graham. Um, I play the clarinet, and I've really enjoyed this recording project. I've done one before with a smaller group, but uh, this one with a larger group, it's still really enjoyable. They're long days from nine to about between five and six, but I really enjoy the higher level of critique, and I feel like it's helped me and us as an ensemble to learn a lot and learn a new level of mastery. My name is Tyler Heinsen, I'm a trumpet player. Um, this recording project has definitely been a grind, just trying to make sure that we have a good take of literally everything and every piece of music. It's definitely pushed me to be a more consistent musician in the sense that I don't want to be the reason we have to throw out a perfectly good take. My name is Hunter Gross, I'm a graduate percussionist, and um, I've really been enjoying this recording session. This is specifically my last time I'm going to play with the Wind Symphony here, and um, it's been fun just to take it all in and work with great professionals that I've been with. So. My name is Andrea Vinay and I'm the Director of Percussion Studies at the University of North Florida and I'd like to talk a little bit about my new piece, This Prisma Sonic Rock I Stand, which is a concerto for solo percussion and wind ensemble. And it was written for a big recording project started by Dr. Aaron Bodnar, who is the director of bands and conducting at UNF, a good colleague and friend. And this is something I was really excited to do. It's my first time writing for a wind ensemble. Um, and writing a concerto, percussion concerto, is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So it was a really uh, exciting project to be a part of and to collaborate with Dr. Bodnar on. Um, the title, This Prismasonic Rock, I Stand, um, is really based on a synthesis of sound and color. And some of the goals I was aiming for was to utilize some of my favorite percussive timbres and instrument combinations across the whole ensemble in a manner that created certain aesthetics and uh, characters that help to highlight beautiful melodies and a vibrant rhythmic content within the piece. And this rock I stand actually just comes from, a little bit from uh, the process it took to name the piece. Usually I'm really good at naming pieces. And this one, the official title came like right up to the wire of the concert. And I guess what it boiled down to was that the creative process and the things that I really like and that speak to me, um, became the foundation, I guess, of the whole piece. So rather being than being based on one single event or one single idea, I utilize all the instruments and all the sounds and various melodies and rhythms that I really liked and wanted to use. And, and that kind of, I just went with what my foundation, the rock that I stand on, is a lot of, a culmination of a lot of those ideas in the piece. Um, it has two movements. The first movement is called Pahoe Hoi, which is Hawaiian for a type of volcanic rock that is smooth um, and you know, hot magma cools. And over long periods of time, volcanic rock uh, goes through a metamorphosis and kind of changes with age. And Pahoe Hoi is like a smooth version. And, and oftentimes it's multicolored and kind of rainbow and shiny, which um, I was able to see this kind of rock on old lava fields in Volcanoes National Park last year in Hawaii. And it was, like the, some of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. So that really impacted me. Um, and so with the use of colors and sounds, I think Hoi Hoi, the rainbow type, um, was a good title for the first movement. And then the second movement, Obsidian Rainbow, um, is based off of Rainbow Obsidian, which is a real naturally occurring rock where it's, it's a black rock that has like bright neon rainbow striations. It's really, really cool. Um, and I, you know, since the second movement is a little bit more edgy, it's a little bit more aggressive, there's more drums and stuff, um, but there's also really beautiful movements. Um, I named it Obsidian Rainbow, oh, uh, about that kind of rock as a contrast.
The recording process was a really good learning experience for the students uh, as well as for me. I've been a part of several recording projects, um, but mostly for solo and small chamber stuff. So it's definitely a different beast when you're recording with a whole stage full of musicians, so many different parts and different things to line up. We had a really great production team um, and engineers working in the background to help us get a, what I think is gonna be a really, really wonderful project. Um, and I'm, it's just such an honor to have my piece be part of this this whole project and the CD that will come out with wonderful composers and um, performers and it's just been it's been an honor to collaborate with Dr. Bodnar and the UNF Wind Symphony. I'm really excited.